hello it's Guy here from GD Models today we've got quite a big uh, I've got a big step today um, first off I'll show you the, how the mug guard turn out as I said after six hours um, it dried and as you can see there's not a single crease on it so it there's actually sorry one there but otherwise that's how the carbon fiber has turned out pretty much flawless and then I had to obviously to do this decal on top but there you go it's it's just obviously you've got to be patient if you're not patient you don't get a very good result it's all about patience so that's the mug guard with the carbon fiber that I showed you how to do on the video now anyway back to today we've got quite a lot here today uh, we're doing the whole front end um, connecting on the tire I'll just move my camera a little bit higher um, wait a sec there you go um, yeah so you've got the, the bike here obviously I've done the decals on the wheels and on the rear wheel as well um, you got the upgrade set here which is the metal upgrade set that you guys would have seen that I was talking about um, what else have we got that's upgraded this bit here if you notice the little plastic bits that come off uh, the top there I've cut off because I've got these actual upgraded plugs here rather than just being two lumps so that's obviously an upgraded part You've also got the steering uh, damper, whatever it's called here. Um, this bit here, obviously, on the up on the standard upgrade Tamiya set, this part is made out of plastic. But if you buy the Top Studios uh, box that I got, this is metal, so it's just a little uh, upgrade there and what else um here on these brakes as you can see you've got obviously the the bembro on them and the brakes look pretty standard but if you see the lugs that actually hold the brakes onto the uh, forks i had to cut them off and replace them with two little metal pins so obviously that's another upgrade that you get in the set so anyway without further ado uh, we want to build first thing we want to do is build the each fork so we'll get this side and then what we want to do is get you've seen the, me if you've done seen my videos before on uh, the Ducati Senna um, how to put these metal forks together so it's quite simple as I said I prefer them in these standard uh, forks to be honest um, so you put that bit on there when you get a bit of super glue as well and where do I put it down there just need to get a bit of super glue but then what you want to do is get the little nylon washers you sh uh, should have these lying about but if you don't obviously they come in a set um, and you want to put two on the top bit there and now make sure I've got the right side Yeah, this is the right side. Now what we want to do is these little lugs, there's two on this side, they go on the outside. I just twist it. you got to be quite forceful with it. There you go, you've got one side of the forks and turn it around, there we go, like that. 
that's one fork. Uh, and now do exactly the same on the other side. So you want this little bit goes on first. There we go. And now the little nylon washers. One. Two. And then now the other fork, main uh, shock body or whatever you want to call it. There you go. And now with them in place, what you want to do, obviously you can see here, I've had to cut the lugs off that are normally on this bit and drilled holes to fit the new uh, lugs on the brakes. So anyway, um, that's that side done. So what you want to do now is get a bit of super glue and put it along here. There we go. And get this little bit. And that sits like that on there. Let that dry for a minute or two. While I do the other side. Now. There you go. So that's for like that. And now what you want to do is get uh, this bit here. This goes this way around. But there's a little bit that goes on here quick. It's just to do the uh, pipe work for the uh, rear, sorry, front brakes. It's just like a little T-bit. Just get it on. There you go, like that. It's just a lip for um, the cables. Now, this stays this way around, but what we want to do, just for one second, is put that down. Get this, put this this way around. And then, get the forks. make sure you're putting them around the right way because I've seen people can get this wrong so easily and then he goes in there it sort of just clicks in and now obviously another bit of super glue to go there there and there there you go and that's it now um, what I'm doing here is obviously another bit of the upgrade this is the uh, steering damper so she goes on this side 
there's a little locator hole that she wants to not go in. Like that. So she just sits on there like that. And then this is screwed on, so it's movable. And now, um, get the, and uh, move all this to one side quickly. Let's get out of the way. I need this screw here though. Tiny one here. Move it out of the way. Now, what you want to do is get the old motorbike and it goes let's change it so okay so goes around this way it sits up there like that and then what you want to do is get this little metal bit over here, this bit. And this wants to go. There's a hole in the steering damper. It just threads through and then now rest on the side. Just change the camera angle for you guys. There you go. And then you want to get this screwdriver here. It's a formal screw. And then make sure it's all lined up so it should go straight in. There we go. There we go. Um, Yeah, so then you've got, uh, just move this wire, because this wire is a part of the radiator. It's a plug that still needs to be kept connected on, but I'll do that at a later date. So now you've got the front fork sitting on there with obviously the steering damper. And now what we want to do is move him to one side. Just put him up there out of the way. Actually, I'll leave him still on the camera for you. Move him up. There you go. Him there. Now the next step is quite easy, to be fair. Yeah, that's done. That's done. Right. Next step is you want to get this part. And then what you want to do is put the handlebars on. So a bit of glue under each side there, one there, and one there. And just make sure these little bits, which are the handlebars, I'm putting it around the right way. Which goes this way round. I'm trying to see if that's correct. And nope. That is not correct. The handlebars around the wrong way. Well, 
on that like that. And now get the other side. And it goes like that. Now get this bit here. She wants to just give her a wiggle. Don't want to be too rough because I have broken these little bits in the past by being a little too heavy handed. No, I've put them on the wrong way. So that one goes on there like that. And then this one on there like that. So then you've got the handlebars, which are like that. that. Now, get a little bit more super glue. What you want to do is with this step, um, you want to put there's a obviously a little fuel cap on here. Um, I think it's not fuel, it's um. I think it's brake fluid. A little cap there goes on that, like that. And then another upgrade part going on. On top of here, you've got the two top parts of the forks. Just go here. Then you want to put them on here, one there, and one there. Now obviously they come with the Tammy upgrade kit. It's at the top of the forks. And I'm just double checking. That's that done. That's that done. That's that done. Put it upside down. And now obviously it's mentioning about putting the forks on, but I've already done that. Um also, what you want to do, I'm trying to think, um, I'll put the wheel on at this point, I'll put this, actually, no, I'll put the wheel on first, while that's drying for a few seconds, so I need the large of the two screws, which is a 20mm, I believe, um, and then you need the front wheel, wherever he's gone, here it is, um, make sure I'm doing it the right way around because on one side you've got this bit on the upgrade bike which is uh, this side of the bike yeah this side So bring her back down here. And there you go. Um, I put the uh, large screw somewhere. I had it. There it is. And now what you want to do is press the screw down through here. Should go all the way along and then should come out the other side where you line it up and obviously just screw it in. But don't want to go too harsh, move it out a little bit. There we go, so it's got a bit of movement. Now with that being done, you've got the 
the whole front end on now and go back to the top there we go uh, what we want to do now is put the front on like this she should just sort of slide down onto the top of the forks like that move the camera for you there you go so that's uh, it all done and now you want to get this other screw which drops straight down here and she'll just bite the bottom bit there you go and then you've got a little cap that sits down in there I never hot glue these in I sort of push them in because it should hold and now on to the final few bits now what we want to do is something that's like right here yeah there we go it's just a little twisted somehow but yeah um, now what we want to do is put the forks on there's no, sorry the mud guard which is just two plastic clips like that I so said she's looking cool now and now the final step really is um, down here you got the brake that sits on there which is this one but it's awkward Let's get a pair of tweezers and wiggle it on because obviously I've had to no, it's been too awkward. Right, I might have to drill the holes, but then obviously I'll just give it one more go quickly. And then we want that in there. Come on, go in there. There you go, that's one camper done. And also you've got the other side. Hopefully it'll be a damn sight easier than that side. One there. And one there. And get my tweezers back. There you go, like that. And that's it. So I hope you like my video. Just put it up right for you guys. There you go. That's the whole front end put on the uh, Kawasaki. Um, so please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.